Um, before we get some uh, lions in the mix, can I just comment on that Roquan Smith thing for a moment? Look, everyone loves Roquan. But this is every reason you don't trade for the guy. Guys, let me help you. There is no way in this lifetime or the next I'm paying an interior linebacker $20 million a year over five years and guaranteeing $60 million. Now, you want me to pay Micah Parsons $100 million over five. I get it because he can lead the league in sacks and disruption. You want me to pay, you know, Von Miller in his prime. Hey, five years from now, I hope we're giving Aiden Hutchinson a $100 million contract, $20 million a year. You get my point. But there is no way I will allocate that level of money to an interior backer. Won't do it. Now, the Ravens, the minute they traded for him, they knew what they were in for. But I didn't imagine he'd get to $20 million a pop. Just to comp that out for you, $20 million is what the elite of the elite, the Aaron Donalds, the DeForest Buckners, soon to be the Deron Paynes, the, the, the best interior linemen, which, by the way, are far more important than the guys who play behind them, i.e. Roquan Smith. Mm-hmm. It's not equal. You want me to pay 20 to a corner? I'll do it. You want me to pay 20 to my best defensive linemen? But what if linemen? he's that difference maker linebacker? I, they, 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 I don't believe interior backers can be that. The difference maker is who I pay to put opposite Aiden. It's like what the Niners have done. Right, but I mean, I, th- I think... Buddy, are you paying Fred Warner $100 million? No. But okay, I, goodbye. But I would talk and make sure he doesn't walk away. You get my point. Roquan's wanted the money. He got the money. I was never paying that. So you know what? Good. Enjoy Baltimore. Crab cakes and football. Good for you. Um, do you want to get to the Lions here briefly? So here's my question. Now that the emotion is settled, and we all can think clearly. Was this the better result? It's a question, not a statement. Don't freak out. You got the better draft pick because the Rams lost. You beat the Packers. You end up 9-8. and eight. You end up 5-1 and one in the division. And you end up sending Aaron Rodgers to an offseason of oil-based enemies. Versus... <laughs> Rams win, you're picking ninth. You go to the playoffs and get sent home like TCU in San Francisco. Did it end up better? That while it's not a playoff berth, you get to end the season feeling good about yourself. You exacted a pound of flesh from one of the most detestable athletes in all of professional sports in Aaron Rodgers. You beat your rival. And now that the dust has settled... You're essentially picking minimum number four overall. Why do I say that? Because you're not taking a quarterback, and at least two will go before you. You're going to get one of the four best players in this draft. Maybe three if somebody else does something stupid and or takes a quarterback. So I want to know if you're a Lions fan, if now, a couple days after, is that an insane statement or are some of you, does that resonate? Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. I mean, Rico, I know you're not wired that way. Neither am I. No. But is this? See, here's the thing. It's the feel good story right now is the Lions and and being positive of what's going to happen next year. I don't think you feel that way right now mm. or in a week if you go and it's a horrible loss. In San Francisco, because all it's going to show you is how far away you are from being a Super Bowl caliber team. But right now, from now until September, you you can say we were one of the hottest teams in the NFL. We should have been in there if we didn't screw up the beginning of our season. Teams were fearing playing us. Plus, we have the draft pick, and we knocked Aaron Rodgers out. Yeah, that's a... You'd like to make the playoffs, but if you didn't make the playoffs, man, this that's a pretty sweet feeling. Knowing the confidence that you have going into the, into the draft, the last thing you remember is sad Aaron Rodgers walking into the to the moonlight as he goes through the tunnel. 
you probably don't want to, you know, you always want a shot at the apple. Even if, you know, like TCU, you never take a bite of it. But them losing, I mean, them winning but not making the playoffs and getting the draft pick, to me, was the best case scenario for week 18 because you got everything that you possibly wanted outside of a playoff game. That was it. Because I, I don't know if this team, because I know people be like, well, they can go on this miraculous run like, like the Bengals. The reason why we're talking about the Bengals is because it normally doesn't happen. They were the outlier. It doesn't happen every year. If it happened every year, it wouldn't have been special. But last year for the Bengals, it was. I don't think that that was you this year. So I think you could take what happened and you could build on this so much that you get the positive press. You'll probably get a lot of free agents who will say, you know what? You may be me away from being a Super Bowl caliber team. Maybe I'll come to Detroit now because I see you are building something there. David, was it the best possible outcome? No, it wasn't. Okay. And it's because next year's not an ever guaranteed, okay? The team was hot right now. I get it. The pick would have been worse off because the Rams would have won the game. But I think it would have been better for this team to get Sewell experience in the playoffs, St. Brown experience in the playoffs, Rodrigo experience, and Kirby Joseph experience in the playoffs. I think that would have been a great thing, even if they gotten destroyed. Preparing for a playoff game it's different from preparing for week nine, week 15. It's different. And I think that would have been best for this team with a young core to get that type of experience throughout this week and the game next week. People, what do you say? And if you still want to dial in, if you still are convinced you could compete with Georgia, go ahead. I'm happy to take the calls. I think you're insane. I think some of you just got to tip your cap once in a while. You got a really good football team, but you're not on the same planet as that. What we saw last night, I, there was no team in college football stepping on that field competing with that. Oh, but Ohio State, forget about the what about isms. They're designed to play that team. You're not. You think you're walking in and playing bully ball with that? Well, that's not what OSU does. So it's irrelevant. You are OSU's kryptonite. But it goes no further. I think this is absolutely just where we're going to be at. Maybe Michigan gets back there again, and they'll get murdered in the playoff. So we can do both. 248-539-9797. We can go to the people right now. Don is up next, 97.1. What's up, Don? Hey, um, I'm going to tell you how close Michigan was to winning the national championship this year and can potentially be the blueprint for how they do it in the future. There's no doubt in my mind Michigan could beat TCU. I don't think you would argue that. There's a couple, of, you know, we made some big mistakes, a couple of questionable calls. Could have beat them, no doubt, correct? Yeah. Okay, I, I, I have something to say about that, Don, but I'm going to let you finish. Go ahead. Okay, I, I, I think most people would agree they could have won that game. I think we both agree Ohio State could have beaten Georgia probably maybe more so than Michigan could have beaten TCU. So what I'm going to say, if those – and I get it. I get it. They didn't happen. I get it. We lose to Georgia. But we could have been playing very easily Ohio State in that, nas in that national championship game. Do you agree? <sighs> yes? No? No, I don't. Don, here's no, the thing. No, there's no way – there's no way both of those teams could have won that game. Don, those, those semifinal no, games. No, because you didn't. This is the same thing no, I, no, get, I get. Don, it. Okay, I get it. I'm not saying we did. I said we didn't. I'm just saying we were really close, really, really close. I mean, we made some big mistakes. There were some questionable calls. Ohio State missed a field Don, Don, it's, goal. Don, it's the same thing I told Lions fans. You finished off the season great, but you can't take away from the one and six start. You can't. Oh, we I made a few I'm mistakes. You threw a Georgia. couple pick six. You lost to TCU, man. You had a month right, to prepare right. for a, them, and you weren't ready. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm just saying we could have won that game. There was a touchdown taking taken away. I don't think. Right, but Don, 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 the touchdown that was taken away. You got the ball on the six-inch line. No, right. I get it. And, we and did you not, fumbled. Uh, right. However, 
it's a lot. Uh, seven points on the board if. Don, you fumbled on the one penis line. I get it. I get it. I get it. You don't get it. You had the ball at the one penis line. You fumbled. I get it. I get it. You gave up 263 yards rushing. I get it. You threw two pick sixes. I get it. I get it. Oh, but if Ohio State did all of our dirty work and then this and that and the other thing of a Bob happens, then I'll presume that we beat OSU for the second time in a month because hashtag stop. What is it? We could have won the game. You didn't. But okay, you did. And OSU could have won this, but they didn't. But I. And then we're going to take the huge leap that beating OSU for a second time in a month is could've just could have. I get it. You took the call. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Can it ever just be what it is? Can it? Maybe. Can it? You had an entire month. It's it's what I say about you know you can't if the Lions fans you can't take away the one and six start great finish but that still counts you threw two pick sixes when they took a touchdown off the board no you fumbled the ball it was right there all you had to do was a quarterback sneak four times you would have gotten it in one of those times hey whose fault was it that you ran the annexation of Puerto Rico at the two yard line. Whose fault was it that you gave up 300 yards rushing? Whose fault was it that your ground game was rendered useless? That your line got dominated by the 335? Smashville. God, Don, please. Please, Don. Like, don't be that fan. The problem is you guys don't know how to be anything else. This is how you bred. This is how you taught. This is who you are. You had a field was crowned and Spartan Bob and... The ref is an OSU grad. The dew, and the, the dew point. Yeah, the dew point. And, 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 and this team hates us, and ESPN hates us, even though all they do is hang off our ding -a -ling. Like, why can't it just be we did lose the game, I don't need all the scenario building, and if you played Georgia, you would have had your head cut off, no, no. He's thrown in a Ziploc, and punted no, out of SoFi. Mike, that you missed. You missed that. I get it. He's saying Ohio State beats Georgia. I know what he's saying. And then they play Ohio State. I get it. <laughs> he gets it. Just, like, you lost to TCU, man. The whole point is he wants to tell you how close they were to a national title if he could simply just change the result of both games and then assume he's going to win. Hey, you don't think that Alabama can say the same thing? Well, if we would have just stopped the two-point conversion with Tennessee, we win. We're in the playoffs. Literally. Literally. If Caleb Williams doesn't get hurt, Here's USC an idea. is in the playoffs. Not only are you not close to winning a Super Bowl if you just change the result to your game, but when you have to change the result of the other conference title game, and then you expect me to just assume, because I get it, that you would have beaten <laughs> OSU for a second time in a month because things. Well, according there to Michigan. on the one penis line? No, but according to Michigan fans, <laughs> they are now being considered co-champions with Georgia.